Scorpio Martianus, I'm calling you out. Make your own tier list. Hey everybody, welcome to Nga. Here I am, also wearing a Nga shirt. So I made that ranking the letters of the English alphabet, as in the Latin alphabet, but in the context of English. And people generally liked that, and they had a good time roasting me and uh, coming up with their own lists and stuff. And then I seemed to get quite a bit of demand to do a video making a tier list of the Latin alphabet in the context of Latin. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is going to be the Latin alphabet as used during Roman times, Latin, Latin alphabet. That's what's happening today. And luckily I have a little bit of context for, for this. I'm not going in blind because I guess you can't really see that because I happen to be studying Latin in various forms right now. Quite, quite, quite a few forms. Um, so I, I've got like the general gist of the the aesthetic of Latin. So I'm gonna go about it. I'm gonna go and rank what I think of each letter of the Latin alphabet in Latin. Let's do this. So, I am on the same tier list that I used last time for the English one, except I have a new category over here for post-Roman editions, and I know there's varying definitions that you could consider for this, but I don't really care. Uh, all I'm going with is that J, W, and U were editions that didn't exist in the original Latin alphabet and only came during medieval times afterwards. So that's what I'm going with. Deal with it. Again, thanks to Charlie is dumb for creating this. We're going to go in order. I'm not going to include any prior biases that I had in the English alphabet because those most likely don't apply and this is most likely going to be a very different list than for uh, the English Latin alphabet. A. A in Latin means a pretty pretty consistently I like the look that it has it's symmetrical like an upside down V yeah I'm keeping a and a tier just like last time don't worry about it B in Latin is a little it's a little bit more weird you know I, I don't because you know everything in Latin is written in uppercase there there was nothing but uppercase these were the original letters I, I think B just kind of looks a little awkward whenever it's written into Latin words in all caps like it, it's all right but it's not something great it's not something that I love I'm putting I'm putting B and C tier this time C always in Latin is ka I appreciate this I appreciate this very much so much more than the absolute abuse that it goes through in English and most of the other romance languages and back if I was living in the Roman Republic I would write down that symbol and it would mean ka so C is going in A tier D is a kind of in a similar case to B, like, it looks alright. I think, I think my personal aesthetic bias is coming in here. I don't like the combination of the straight line with a rounded feature. B has the straight line and the rounded feature. D is also going in C tier. E. I love the look of E. Look at how delicious E looks. And in Latin, when it's always a capital letter and it always means A or E, <sighs> damn, I love that. I love me some of that E. A tier. F is cool. It's all lines. I appreciate the all lines letters. Is it amazing? Like, is it as good as A, C, and E? I think I'm gonna put F in B tier this time. Don't worry about that. G. G, G, G. G, G. In Latin, G is better. It is not the most disgusting thing. When it's solely a capital letter, and it is existing within the context of Latin words. It's not as bad. It's it's not going in F tier for for sure. I don't think it's even going in D tier. I think it's got to go in C, like uh, alongside B and D, because look it, it's got the straight line and then the curved feature. All right, H. H in Latin is either huh or pretty much silent or kind of like a glottal start to a word. It's okay. B tier. I straight line. Very good. Sounds, E or I. It's pretty good. It's it's really good. It shows up incredibly commonly. I very much enjoy the way I is used in Latin. Okay, for now I'm putting I as my S tier. It is good. It is beautiful. It's a line. It makes E or I. Consistent meaning, common letter, beautiful occurrences. I'm glad that I exists in Latin and it is amazing. So it's, it's, it's up there. We'll see how it compares to my other previous favorites, you know? All right, now K. What does K do in Latin? And the answer is really not that much. 
It is occasionally used in some some loan words, some words just interchangeably switch between C and K. It is pretty much useless. I'm putting it in D. L, pretty good. Two lines, la, A tier. If you notice a trend happening here, I like the Latin alphabet letters in general a lot better than how they're used in English. It, it all depends on the language and the context and the aesthetic that it puts it in. M, always ma, that's good. Straight lines, also very good. Symmetrical, very good. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little wide compared to the other Latin letters. It has just a more broad vibe and it feels like a little bit like it stands out more than others, but overall it's still a good letter. B tier. N. N, also very cool looking, very cool looking letter. Three lines, boop boop boop, always makes na. It's not broad like M is, though I feel like I'm putting too many things in A tier. I'm sorry, like, it's gotta go in A tier also. Oh, oh, always means oh. Again, I get a little bit of a weird vibe from just how broad it is. You know, I'm putting O in B tier. P. P is pretty cool. It's a, it's alright. I think P is going to be going in C tier for me though, unfortunately. Sorry all you P lovers. Alright, now, Q. Okay, it's either D or F tier for Q. It's useless. <laughs> like, I, I, I get that it's only used in those QU situations, but it's the same thing because of that in all of the other languages that have had their alphabets descend from it. And why? Why on earth does that have to exist right there? This is Latin. It's still just K. It's K with a, a, a U or slash V coming after it. It's Qua. Why? I don't know. Q, yeah, no. I'm sorry. Q is going in F tier. Q is the worst letter. R. I like it more, like B, D, G, and P, but I'm not gonna put it in A tier, so it's going in B. S. But it's it's still a little awkward. C tier. All right, now we're on to T. T always means ta in Latin, which is good. It's symmetrical. It's just lines. Very simple letter. It is really good. So it's gotta also go in A tier. I really, I really like these letters whenever they actually mean what they're supposed to mean. Okay, V. V was my number one in English. V is probably not going to be my number one in Latin. It either means V or wa. Most of the time it ends up meaning wa, but it could still be used in either context, which, you know, eventually led to the unfortunate creation of U and W. So, as punishment for, like, what, what it did, I'm gonna put V over here in B tier. All right, now we're on to X. Psst. Why does that get its own letter? It could be C and S. It's okay, it's C. Now the letter Y. The letter Y, the, the Y, it was introduced in order to make the U sound from Greek. It was not really used other than that. It is good looking, but rather uncommon, and for all intents and purposes, not awesome. You're going in D. And Z. Z is the last one. Z, I also do not really like. Whenever they created G, they kind of switched it to put it in the back of the alphabet. So, it was not really used that much. I haven't really seen it much in, uh, in my various Latin studies. It's not a common letter. Z, you're also a D tier. So there you go. There's my tier list, my ranking of all of the Latin letters of the Latin alphabet in the context of the Latin language. Maybe I'll put a screenshot up of what my English one looked like. It's pretty different, very different, because these sounds are actually paired with these letters and the orthography in a much more, much more one-to-one -one way, except for V. So I'm much happier with the Latin alphabet in the context of the Latin alphabet. That's it. I supreme. Q useless. Do I really want to use the letter Q twice in the word coque? No. No, I do not. All right, you guys, that's it for me. I will see you guys next time. Mwah.